guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Missy Vernier, and if you are new to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button below. And if you are returning, hey, how's it going? I'm so happy you're here watching another video. So for today's video, I wanted to do a skin, like my daily skin routine plus my makeup routine, how I prep my skin for my makeup. And I know in my previous videos, I was talking about the next videos, like what I was going to do. But let me tell you about that before we get into this video. So I was supposed to show you guys Callie, but Callie got a haircut last, this, well, this past Monday. And they had to shave her down because she was super, she wasn't like severely matted, but she definitely had some mats on her. And the groomer just said like the best thing for her is just to like, kind of like have a restart like just shave everything and then have her hair just grow back like full and long and beautiful so I was like you know what you're right because I kind of got off track with Gal uh, Gally who's Gally <laughs> uh with Callie's grooming schedule because I got her, her very first summer's appointment was in September of 2020 and then I kind of got off track because she got spayed in October and then I wanted to her her to heal from the surgery so then right when she like was done healing I went home in November for Thanksgiving so I just like never I was like oh no like is it too late and it was so hard to get an appointment just because of COVID and all this all that and like it's just it was a lot so when she finally got groomed in December um she was in Michigan so it was super cold there and like I didn't want them to cut a lot and like blew her out but like cut out the mats so when we got back to LA or Los Angeles in January she was just like so long she looked like a little sheep dog like her hair was too long and it was just getting matted up I had to like constantly like give her baths because she was just so dirty all the time anyways uh she got her hair cut and she didn't really like it the first couple days she always kind of like when I would take her outside, she would just like do like her business really quick and like run back in the house because she or like in the apartment because she just felt like naked. But now I think she felt like she really does like her haircut is kind of growing on her. But I was just gonna wait until her hair grew out a little bit and then I could talk about Callie. I was originally going to do my um, I live in a studio apartment and I was gonna like show you guys my apartment. Posted a video when I first moved to Los Angeles and showed you guys my studio then and then now it changed so much because I've been here for almost three years so I've definitely got a lot of new furniture and I just wanted to show you guys like you know the updates of my apartment but I don't have any flowers and it's also like gloomy and cold here and I wanted to and the best part of my apartment is the view so I was like I don't know if people want to see that it's like gloomy outside I feel like when you think of Los Angeles you just think of like palm trees and sun and you know, it's more the complete opposite, minus the palm trees. So I was like, let me just wait on that too, because I really did not feel like going to the grocery store today to get the flowers. Like, it's just gloomy, and like, I already have some food here, so I was like, we're just gonna not do that. I just wanna give you guys an update on that, but I will do a video about Callie very, very soon. I just want her to get camera ready. She was also, like, not feeling good last week, so that was, ugh, that was crazy, and I will talk about that too. Being, like, a first-time pet parent is so stressful. Like, anyways, um... So yeah, so I'm so excited to show you guys this video. I was kind of thinking about it. I updated my um, I updated my makeup, like what I've been using, because I did do a video like this like a, two years ago on my channel. I'll like link if you guys want to see that, like if you want to compare the two. So um, didn't really get a lot of views, but you know I was still a small little channel back then. So we're gonna do this video. I'm so excited to share my routine and also makeup routine with you guys um, this is super exciting for me just because I kind of want to revamp some of the products that I use kind of find new products but if you guys use a product or want to tell me about something please comment it below and I would love to like buy it or like just share it with me because I kind of want to get like some serums and get a little like kind of get out of my like one two stepper of a skin routine really hope you guys like the video make sure to subscribe and let's so get before i get started callie's on my lap you guys see her like little like haircut she literally she saw me doing my youtube or you know like shooting and she was like i want to be on your lap it's gonna be a little tricky but this is literally how i drive with her i'm like holding the steering wheel <laughs> but yeah she just wants to be up here i hope you guys think her haircut's cute she just you can now finally see her eyes. So she's 
she looks cute. She's just growing up, so she definitely needs like a nice little shave down for sure. Before I get into the makeup, because I'm like literally like, when am I putting on this makeup? Because I'm tired of like, not to say my skin's bad, but it's just like, I want to look glamorous. I already washed my face in the shower, and I use, this is what I use, which is the Aveeno. Let me turn this down. Oh, shoot. So this is the Aveeno that I use in the shower. Aveeno's Daily Moisturizer and it's yogurt body washes. It helps with dry skin, gently cleanses, and nourishes for soft, smooth skin. I use this. Oh, this is super bright now. Um, I use this and I also use it to shave my legs. Like, you don't need, you could just put it on. It says for shaving, apply by hand as a rich shaving wash for silky smooth legs. Like, you don't need shaving cream. You can, like, use it for both. So, I put this on my face. I already use that. Sometimes I use the um lotion as well but i don't like the daily moisturizing lotion because it's super thick notice i like the sheer hydration one because it's like um it's like not as thick as this one sometimes i also use the cetaphil as well and i use this for and i like because it's like lightweight i should say the sheer hydration of vino is lightweight that's why i like it because this is a little thick and i feel like sometimes it's hard to rub in but this one's also good as well. Someone actually left this at my house, and I was like, mine now. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't use, I just used Aveeno today, because I was like, I'm not going anywhere. But just wanted to show you guys what I use for my face and my lotion. I, like, do not put, I have very sensitive, like, my face is very sensitive, and I cannot put, um... Puts like perfume lotions on my face. It'll like break me out. So that's why I always choose Amino or like Cetaphil or something that's like has no scent. I also use the Mario Banch. I don't know how to say his last name, but I also use this. I don't want to butcher it, but I do use this for my facial spray. It's amazing. Love it so much. Like. Oh my god, it's the best. And I wish they sold it like more places because I always have to go to Ulta. Okay, so spraying that on my face before we get started. This is so funny that like Callie sitting on my lap doing this. Also, no, having short hair. This is like also because my last tutorial, I said I hate wearing it down. So I start wearing it down more because it's like sometimes like I'll put it up later in the day um, if I'm like over having it down. But the one thing I will say about short hair, like short curly hair, is sometimes, well, just with my hair, like curl pattern, the structure, like, I feel like it's never, like, volume. I, I'm constantly, like, trying to, like, bring volume to, like, the roots. It's very annoying. But I think it looks great now. My sister, Lauren, she, when I was home for Christmas, she was showing me this pout polish by Pacifica. And... It's 100% vegan, cruelty free, and it's just like pout polish lip scrub. So good. And I just love it so much. So bright, I've been doing this as like my routine. Putting it on first. Good when I put on my lipstick. So let me just put my hair in a clip so I can fully do my makeup. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still getting used to this short haircut, I'm not gonna lie. In the past, in my old video, I used to use NARS. And this was the, uh, the Syracuse Sheer Glow. I had to stop using this because it was making my face so greasy. Like, I would look super oily all the time. So I was like, that's weird. I don't like looking like that. Like, I don't like to look greasy. Like, I don't like that at all. I like, went to Ulta and just like started like asking the like sales associates, like, um, I need a better like foundation because I'm tired of looking like super oily all the time. And they were like, oh, you need like a matte one. So now I use the matte and it is the Studio Fix Fluid C30. So that's the one I use all the time. And it's great because it kind of just like, it doesn't give me that like greasy look anymore. And I have my beauty blender and we're just going to blot. I used to use a brush putting on my foundation, but I feel like the brush and like a brush and the blender, I feel like, I feel like the blender might do like a better job putting on 
your foundation. Yeah, okay. Looks better. <laughs> okay, so now the foundation is on. Um, what's next? Oh, let's do my eyebrows. Anastasia. That's what I use. Uh, it's the Brow Wiz Dark Brown. I've been using her products for a while now. She's definitely my, like, probably, like, my favorite. And then I also use, you can't see it, but this is the Brow Wiz uh, Benefit. And so this is also just, like, fills in your eyebrow. I used to get my eyebrows done so much before, like, COVID and quarantine and all that. And, like, I actually like my shape now that I, like, don't get them done as much. Let's do the face. So I got this palette a really like like a year or two ago and it's the Becca palette and it was like during like Christmas time and I got it. So it was like, you know how they have those like makeup palettes and they're just like, um, they're not, they're like seasonal. So I think this is what this was. I love it so much. I like try to find it and they don't have it anymore. So it's so sad. But it has all these great colors that I use. So. It's like a glow kit. So the colors on the back are like champagne pop, a caramel, truffle, berry, and pink creme. So, or cream. I don't know why there's an accent, but it's fancy. So I love this so much. So I just put champagne pop and sometimes caramel on my eyelid and it's like amazing. Very simple yet natural. It doesn't really like pop out at you it's just about that natural effect i also use the same for my face as well like as like a nice um what is it bronzer but just like contour on the face so that is so far we're almost done so it's a very natural look so if you're into like the natural looks i suggest you to uh, invest in like a glow kit palette because then you can use it on all your like your like eyes and like your face as well as just like as or just as like highlighter so it's definitely something that i would use so for my lashes i use i use this i like got this like whole like ysl kit with like perfume and then a lipstick and mascara and I haven't tried the mascara yet but I think we should try it just for today just because I already know what this looks like and this one does not flake I used to do like the better than sex one like the benefit one I think that's benefit and it used to flake all the time and I hated that like my like I would like touch my eye and it would like smear and like act crazy so we're just gonna try this and see if I like it I like that one. That's a good one. Okay, so we're almost done. I use these lip colors all the time. This one's my YSL one. I got it for my birthday. And it has my initials on the back. My mom got this for me. And this is the Lip Stain Glow. Also, this is my Gucci one. I love this one. And this is a stain as well. And it's Peggy Taupe. And it's amazing. I'm trying to figure out the look I want to go for. Because they're kind of both, they're both neutrals. Like, let's just do the this YSL one it gives off that natural look you have something on but it's not like overpowering so this is my natural everyday look I don't know where my hand was up like that this is my natural everyday look I hope you guys like the skin routine it wasn't really a skin routine it's more so well it is shouldn't say that it is my skin routine but if you guys have any recommendations on like serums or oils or hydration i feel like my skin is always super dry in the winter so if you guys have any recommendations i would love to read them so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully next weekend is prettier I'll show you um my apartment or if Callie's feeling a little bit better i can show you we can talk about Callie and what's new with her so i'm so happy i did this like oh Last but not least, I forgot to set it. That's what I forgot. I also use the rose spray to set it. And then throughout the day, I'll refresh my face. But yes, we are all done. It's great. Oh, I look so cute. I love it. 
Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. I hope you guys have a great day. And please subscribe. I see y'all watching my videos. I'm not mad, but I'm saying you're definitely watching. So, and thank you so much for watching. Um, I love reading your comments, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye, everyone.